Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean the evaporator or the cooling coil of your car's HVAC system. Now the evaporator unit located inside your cabin, much like the one you have inside your uh, home split AC, is uh, very prone to uh, dust and dirt accumulation and over a period of time, if it is not cleaned, your uh, uh, HVAC systems become uh, ineffective and the chilling will be affected. Sometimes even bacteria or mold settles on it and that results in a very stinky uh, odor inside your cabin. So it's very important to keep your evaporator or a cooling coil in a clean state. Now, unlike uh, cleaning your condenser coil, which is located outside uh, behind your radiator unit, you cannot use alkali or acids to clean uh, your evaporator unit. So you have very specific, uh, you know, foam cleaners like this here. Uh, I think 3M has one, Maruti X-Star has one. And this is uh, one from Manol, uh, Manol 9971 is the name of the unit. I got this from uh, Amazon and uh, it's about uh, 520 ml and Manol themselves say that uh, about 250 ml is sufficient for one cleaning uh, application. Uh, cleaning it is very simple. Uh, they have given a set of instructions, uh, which I'll uh, flash it on the screen right now. Uh, ensure that your engine is sufficiently warmed up so you know your coolant has reached the operating temperature 90 degrees in my case and uh, that throws out uh, warm air through the vents all uh, foam cleaners come with a probe like this which you can uh, insert to the nozzle here it has a very fine nozzle as you can see so insert it to the nozzle insert it to the nozzle like this and you'll have to you know uh, guide this uh, very fine tube through the uh, central AC vents and through your uh, cabin filter to reach the evaporator unit. The best method to use this is to ideally guide it through the drain hole of your evaporator unit. Now all evaporator units have a drain hole which drains the condensed water. That's the easiest and the quickest location to reach your evaporator unit. But in my case, the drain hole is located right outside the firewall and the entire turbocharger EGR unit is blocking it. So it's not very easy to access it. Whereas uh, Petrol, uh, Vento and Polo cars have that unit, uh, have that area fairly uh, open. So it's easy to access it from uh, outside. So in my case, I'm going to, you know, guide this through the central AC vents and uh, I'll remove the cabin filter unit and I'll guide it uh, through the filter entry into the evaporator unit. So let's see. You are supposed to remove the cabin filter unit. Now push these clips to the front. Okay, so the instruction says warm up the engine to operating temperature, that's done. Cabin filter is removed. For 10 minutes, all windows open. AC is set to off, recirculation mode is on. Lower and temperature to the maximum. Airflow to footwell. This should be done for about 10 minutes, so let's see. So 10 minutes is up and uh, the cabin has been sufficiently warmed. Uh, what we'll do is we'll spray the foam inside uh, the evaporator unit. The other method is through this uh, central vent. It will be the closest to the evaporator. So we'll spray a bit through that as well. Additionally, I just uh, covered these uh, electronic buttons and all that uh, with masking tape, just in case, you know, the foam flows out uh, when the blower is turned on. So we'll start uh, spraying the foam now. Let's see. Oops. Gotta use a microfiber towel to just. Guys, once you start uh, seeing this foam coming out, uh, just stop it there. That's sufficient. Have a very pleasant smell, I'd say. Not like a chemical smell. 
Okay, so this part is done. Now let's uh, spray a bit through the cabin filter cavity. It has already started dripping from the cabin filter cavity. See that the entire uh, cavity is uh, now filled with uh, until the evaporator unit. So, instruction says uh, wait for 30 minutes. Right, so, 30 minutes is up. So, what we'll do is we'll start the engine and uh, do the same settings as before. You can see that the foam spray through the vents have sort of settled down. We have a very nice, uh, pleasant fragrance inside the cabin now. Check the status of the evaporator after cleaning. I am not sure if this would be visible. But still. part is completed we'll uh, install the filter back ideally this is supposed to be replaced with a brand new filter you may want to discard the old one but uh, I do not have access to a new filter now and plus this is not really that dirty as you can see here because I don't usually set the recirculation mode to off so it uh, draws air from outside it's always set to on so I'll uh, reuse this filter for the time being observe the direction of the airflow as given in the cabin filter And that completes our evaporator cleaning activity. I hope uh, this was useful. Please clean your uh, cooling coil or evaporator at least once in uh, three to four years uh, to keep the HVAC system in uh, uh, good shape. So that uh, completes the activity guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, do let me know.